Alrighty, Corey, we have a question from a viewer, uh, Maple Leafs 1967, and they ask, after about the third date, girls always tell me they don't see me as boyfriend material. The third or fourth date? Yes. Yeah. So typically what's happening, he's being too nice. He's given off a platonic vibe. He's demonstrating a lack of decisiveness. He's demonstrating a lack of being a leader. And they don't feel his presence. They don't feel his strength. Because the reality is a man's job, because we're vigil creatures, I mean, it's a woman's beauty and her sex appeal is what causes us to notice her in the first place, to even want to go over and approach her or talk to her or get to know her. And as I say in 3% man, a man's job in the courtship is just simply to create an opportunity for sex to happen, to hang out to have fun, to hook up. Because all relationships start out as casual romances, casual love affairs. And what turns them into a relationship is constant hanging out, having fun, hooking up. Typically starts out like once a week. And then as the weeks progress by, then it's two times a week, then three times a week. And eventually it just gets to the point, even if you're dating other people, where you get along so well and your connection is so good that the other people that you're dating, the other people that she's dating just kind of fade away. And then it's just the two of you because you're, you just naturally will start spending more time together. And if the guy's applying what's in 3% man, it creates the conditions where she can come to him at her pace. Sometimes women come close and they get too close. They get a little scared and then they want a little space and a little bit of distance. Just like a cat. Cats love being around you, sitting in your lap and purring, and then you pet them, and then after a while, you notice they stop purring, and then soon after that, they, they jump off your lap and they leave. And it's like they don't even want to be bothered with you anymore. And then you just keep doing what you're doing, and a little while later, the kitty cat might come back over and rub your leg and then walk around the room a little bit. And then a while, a little while after that, it might hop up on the chair where you're sitting and slowly stroll over and then sit in your lap for a bit. You'll start petting it. And then it, what happens? It goes, you know, it starts purring again. And that's kind of the way women are, is they kind of come and go. And you've got to create the conditions where she feels free to come and go. Like the Thich Nhat Hanh quote, you must love in such a way that the person you love feels free. And when you create those conditions... Over time, the kitty cat pretty much always wants to be around you. 